What's going on guys and welcome to Distorted Mind, the other Fred Bears. It's a brand new FNAF fan game that, well, actually it's not brand new. It came out about five months ago. This is the demo for the game though, and I actually had no idea this even came out. I haven't seen a single thing on it, but Foxy63 messaged me and said, hey, you should check out this game, and I just so happened to see the message, and well, here we are. I saw some game told screenshots and stuff like that, and it looked really, really cool, and it had like a little intro that was pretty cool too, which I didn't get to show you guys, but it might show it again. And, uh, oh, look at that. Tell me that's not cool. Look at that. You hover over new game, it's Spring Bonnie. You hover over continue. It's Freddy. What? It's Fredbear. That is so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the demo and see what this is going to be like. And of course, if you guys want to see a full series on this, let's crush 10k likes on this video, and we'll definitely make it into a full-on series whenever the full game is released. Night 1, 12 a.m. Ooh, we got a little Fredbear. Why does he look like he's made of wood? Somebody made this man out of wood. He sculpted him. How the heck did he do that? All right, put me in, coach. I'm ready to go. So it's going to be Fredbear Spring Bonnie, we know for sure. Uh-oh. Whoa, why is there... What's that beeping? Okay, press space to see the time. 12 a.m. Okay, that's interesting. No time for introduction. Why is there a giant You're bunny in, in front of me? Danger. Oh no, I have to see. This <coughs> isn't just a normal night shift job at a creepy pizza. I'm allergic to FNAF with games. Robots that look like your worst nightmare. They will try and get in your office and kill you or something. Maybe they have a reason, but I don't really care. You need to know how to defend yourself. That's why I'm here. Let's start with the rabbit that's sitting in your office. You'll have to keep an eye on him. If you don't, I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Fred Bear, the big yellow bear, he'll try and sneak in through your office door. In your office, you, you have a mobile... Well, that mobile phone has an application that can heat the door and vent. So, heat the door in Fred Bear's head, and you'll be safe. I hope you understand. Okay, well, so far this looks pretty cool. It's really dark, which that, that's the only thing that I'm not too sure how to feel about, but everything else looks really cool. Okay, let's hide these. I'm going to forget, though. Okay, so press control if Fredbear's at the door. So is it only Fredbear coming after us right now? Or, I mean, this gigantic bunny and Fredbear, I guess I should say, because they are both here. Okay, so we click the cameras to activate them. What is that, dude? Some kind of a vent system? Yeah, this is definitely like a vent system above us. Yeah, okay, that's where they enter the vent, right there on camera four. You see that entrance right there? To the left of the gift box and, the ar and to the right of the arcade machine. So we have Freddy and Endo, a party room. Oh, Fredbear's gone. Fredbear's gone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to check the door. We need to check the door right now. Okay, he's not there. All right, let's increase this rabbit thingy's health and just go back. Or health, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> let's go back on cams. So Spring Bonnie's... Dude, I keep thinking... Okay, there's nothing out there. There's nothing in there. There's nothing at the door. All right, this is cool. It's definitely creepy, but it's cool. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can find Fredbear. Where could he have went? He's just like gone completely. Oh! Well, um, <laughs> I found him. I found him, guys. Hey, he was missing there for a second, but I found him. Don't you worry. <laughs> Whoa, continue. Accept your fate. Try again. What the heck? Okay, this is pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool things to it. All right, let's mute the tape. Let's hide the tips and let's get back into this. All right, so I've got to make sure I keep a closer eye on the door in front of me. I have to. Okay, so, oh yeah. It's, it's interesting how you have to press space to see the timer. Like, you can just see it anytime you want. Just hold space and it'll just stay here. Interesting. I, don't, I feel like it should just be, like, somewhere on the screen, but maybe he didn't want to, like, distract from the gameplay. I don't know. Okay, back on cams. Fredbear's gone. Okay, where does he go, though? Because, like, I don't see him on any of these cameras. He just shows up in front of me. Okay, we gotta- OH MY! He did it again! <laughs> he attacked way faster that time than he did the other time! What the heck was that? Okay, try again. Did, what was that? Like, every other time he's taken some- I mean, every other time we only had one other time, but he's taken like a few, you know, seconds, what, like a minute before he shows up that time? He was just here! Okay. We, need to, we just need to watch the door, okay? We just need to watch the door and not focus on anyone else, alright? Because it's just Fredbear, right? I don't- it's just Fredbear and the rabbit. That's all it is. So if I just, if I just stare at the door, we win. And I don't even, actually, can I just leave the light on? Because I don't know if we have any kind of like a power system or anything like that. Okay, wait, increase this. Wait, check it. Oh, you can do both, dude. I can multitask. I can do the door and increase the patience on this thing. Okay, well, that's very helpful. All right, we're just gonna keep this going. This is the strategy, guys. All right, game winning strat. You're watching a pro player right now. <laughs> I'm MLG right now, all right? I don't know how, but I am. Okay, he's still not here. I don't I don't want to check cams. We're going to check these other things, though, just in case. 
I feel like he would show up out there, but he's not. All right, last time he showed up before this. Now he's not, though. He's weird. It's like he knows when you're on cameras. He's like, oh, you're on cams? Let me show up now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Creepy noises. All right, I want to check the cameras, but I don't see the point. Because it's only, it's only Spring Bonnie that's on there. And I'm assuming Spring Bonnie's probably going to come from the vent system, if I had to take a guess. I just, if I have one complaint, though, I wish this game wasn't so dark. Because even the jump scare, I couldn't really see it. It was just super dark. Okay, no one here. Come on, dude. Just show up already, Fredbear. Show up. I want to see what you look like when you're at that doorway. Because it's going, it's going to look creepy. But, like, if this bunny right here was more lit up, that... Oh, my God. It would be so cool looking. Like, if the lighting was a little bit better on it. Because, like, there's there's a light shining down, down, down on it, but, like, it doesn't really, like, show it very well. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's he at? There. He's there. Okay. Uh, turn on the heat. Heat. Do I have to hold it? No, I think I think that's good, right? How do I get rid of it, though? Oh, okay. He's gone. Okay, that actually works. All right, literally, yeah, that, that's easy. You just got to put on the heat. Oh, no. He's still not there, though. Wait, what's on the bottom left? Oh, the temperature. All right, he's gone already, though. He didn't even go back to the stage. What the heck? Where'd he go? Okay. Oh, there. Whoa, he's missing an arm. Look at that. You see that? He's like a Terminator. He's missing an arm and a leg. What? Dude, I wish this was brighter so I can actually see these models. They look so cool. But, it, like, it's so dark. Okay, let's leave again. Let's get this thing's patience going up. Fredbear's definitely about to show up again. Oh, check it. No, see, where does he go? He has to be on, like... No, where does he go? I wish you could see him on cameras. He'll just, like, straight up disappear. That's so weird. All right, I can't check. I can't check cameras. Not while he's this close. And after what happened last time. Uh, let's see what time... Oh, it's already 5 a.m., dude! The world's easiest night. Oh, he's there! Come on, come on, come on. I said it too early. I accidentally pressed shock. Oh, no. I hope that worked. Okay, it did. All right, yeah. World's easiest night, bro. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. He's already back in the show stage. I wonder if it overheats, though. You see that on the bottom left? It is possible to overheat it. So, like, what happens? Maybe the puppet would attack us? I don't know why, but... Oh, there we go. 6 a.m. Well, that was extremely easy, but it's only night one, so makes sense. I don't know if this is a two-night demo or a one-night, but we're about to find out. <laughs> We are about to find out. Oh, that's creepy. What the heck? That is creepy. End of the demo. So that's it. Just like that, it's over. Huh. It's so weird. All right, well, shout, shout out to Foxy63. You found a good game, all right? This was cool. I mean, a really short demo. Oh, this showed up before. This little red circle I clicked in it brought me into the... I don't know what, what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but you click it to get into the game. I like that. There's just so many things in this game that are so cool. Like this, how it changes the heads and stuff like that behind it. It's so cool. All right, let's go to a new game, though. Let's get some jump scares. Because that Fredbear jump scare looks really cool. And I also want to find out what happens if you just overheat the office completely. So if we just shoot up the heat as much as we can, what's going to happen? Man, I really wish it was Spring Money, though, and Fredbear attacking on this night. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's night one, so it's not supposed to be anything too difficult. But it's like a two-night demo would have been, you know, showing a little bit more of, uh, like, what this game has to offer. So I'm curious if there's going to be, like, mini games and stuff like that, too. But then again, he released this demo, like, five months ago. So I don't know if it's still being worked on. You would assume so. But, okay, let's see. So what we got to do is we got to go to this. And we're just going to keep pressing heat and see what happens. Come on. Oh. Do you just lose? Oh. What the heck is that? What is that? Oh! Oh, the rabbit got me. Wait, what is that? Is that Fredbear staring down at the rabbit's costume? What? Dude, this thing is creepy. Look at that thing's face. All right, wait, what happens if I just don't press anything? There's a, like, five-second count countdown. You need to press accept your fate or try again. Or maybe that's, like, the same thing? Okay. Just fade to black. That's... Oh! Oh! <laughs> The game just closes itself. It's just like, oh, yeah, you don't want to try again, huh? We're just going to close the whole game. Oh, maybe it'll show that cutscene. Yeah, it is. Look at that. This is cool. Yeah, I didn't get to show you guys this at the start, but look at this. See, but it's so dark. I can't tell what's happening. It is like too much static and too much darkness. I couldn't tell at all what that was, but it's got so many cool elements to it. Like, look, it's a little spring body whispering to us, like, or uh, shushing us. Creepy stuff, dude. Creepy stuff. All right, so let's get this final jump scare. So the only jump scare we have left to do is the spring bunny. Or not spring bunny, because he came and moved. But that rabbit jump scare, which I don't even know if it's going to be different than the one we just got. But I don't know why they'd be the same. Oh, running up the heat, you related to that thing. 
All right, let's see what happens. Uh oh, uh oh, Fred Bear's here. Fred Bear's here at the same time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, the rabbit's about to run out, but he was here too. All right, come on. Here we go. This is it. Wait, what? Is it frozen? No, it's gone. Okay, here we go. Is it just gonna jump scare me? I hope it's not gonna be the same. Oh, what the? Oh my, that is, that is so creepy. What the heck, dude? This game has so many. What was that, Foxy? I don't even know. This game has so many like creepy elements to it. It's pretty cool. I like this is. I, I'm surprised how under the radar this went for a lot of people. Cause I don't. I didn't. I don't know if anyone else even did a video on this game, but. It's got so many creepy, cool factors in it that, honestly, I'm excited for the full game. I don't know if it's still being worked on. Let me check the, the thing right now. Um, distorted. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I found the game Joel page, and the last update, this demo came out five months ago, and the last update was three months ago. And he says, quick update. So sorry for not posting in a while, but I feel like there's nothing worth posting now. The game is almost finished, and I'm waiting for the tester to test the game and voice actors to record some lines. But that was three months ago. I don't, I don't, I wonder if it's done I, or something happened, but I don't know. All right. Well, guys, if you want to see some more of this game, smash like on the video. Maybe the developer will see this and be like, hey, I, I, maybe he's either stopped working on it or maybe he still is and he'll release it or he'll be like, oh, I should work on this again or I don't know because I really want to see some more of this game. It was really well done. And uh, while it is a little dark and there, you know, there's some weird stuff to it, but overall, it's got so many creepy you know good factors to it that i just i want to see the full game anyways if you guys enjoyed this video smash like on the video down below if you're new to channel already just try the subscribe button and don't worry if you, always, if you ever change your mind you can always hit that unsub button but i don't think you're gonna want to and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out